สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I am making a vegan dish that even my husband loves, and that is saying a lot because he is a big meat eater. He typically doesn't go for vegetarian dishes, but he liked this one because it was. Fantastic. So the reason why this dish came to be is because, as you know, I recently put up a pad thai video, and pad thai uses pressed tofu, and I had leftover pressed tofu, and I didn't. I was like, ah, what am I gonna do with it? That's different. And I thought, huh, it's quite firm, and it crumbles to be something still pretty sturdy. So maybe it would make a good lap. So I tried it, and sure enough, it does. And so now I want to share it with you because I know there are many, many followers of Hot Thai Kitchen who are vegetarians and vegans, and I've been putting up a lot of meat recipes lately. So it's time to eat a little bit more plants. All right, let's get started. So here is my pressed tofu. I'm going to use two cubes for this, and it just comes in a package. Kind of like this, okay? There are many different brands. Use whatever you can get a hold of, and then what you want to do with this is crumble it into sort of a texture that looks similar to ground meat, because lap originally is a salad that's made from ground meat, so it has the same look. And this way, all these nooks and crannies will absorb all that uh, dressing that we're gonna put on it. Okay, so that is what we end up with. Looks kind of like a really white ground meat from the, from far away. Um, and then my corn, you can use sweet corn, but I found this beautiful uh, multicolored corn that I'm going to use. It's a little bit chewier than regular corn, but you can just do canned corn if you are in a rush. Doesn't matter. Um, and that's it. Let's get cooking. One more thing I'm going to do before I. Cook the tofu. Is I'm gonna make the most important ingredient in this dish, and that is toasted rice powder. So toasted rice powder, I've made many times before, but in short, you basically take raw rice, and it's usually sticky rice, but you can do jasmine rice. Toast it in a dry pan until it's nice and brown, and that's it. That's all you do to it. And now we're just gonna grind it up into a powder. I'm using a modern pestle. You can just blitz it in a coffee grinder as well. Okay, and that is it. You don't want it to be like powder. A little bit of grittiness is nice, and that smell. Mmm. There's nothing quite like it. So toasty and beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna cook my tofu. The tofu is already cooked, as in it's edible, but we want to warm it up. I've got a pot with just a little bit of water in there for extra lubrication, and then I'm gonna add my tofu, and we're just gonna get it hot. Oh, you know what? I'm also gonna add my corn right now because my corn is also cold, so it's gonna need to get hot. Okay, it is nice and hot now. I can turn it off. This is so easy, you guys. In goes the shallots. I like to do shallots first because then it has time to wilt a little bit in that heat. And then I'm gonna add the seasoning right now while it's hot, so the tofu can really absorb the flavor. So if you eat fish sauce, you can go ahead and use fish sauce for this. But since we're gonna make this vegan, I'm gonna use soy sauce, which also gives it a bit of a color, and a little bit of Golden Mountain sauce. And I'm using two, so it's a little bit more of a compact, complex flavor. You can just do soy sauce, or if you've got two different types of soy sauce. Sitting at home, you can just do a combination of those. I generally do not recommend buying vegetarian fish sauce that's out on the market. Just hasn't been good in my experience. So, but there may be a good one out there that you like, so you can do that too. Okay, lab needs to be sour, so we are gonna add some fresh lime juice. And I just love that lab is like a one-pot dish. It also needs to be spicy, so I'm adding some roasted chili flakes. So I basically take dry Thai chilies, the spicy, the really spicy kind, uh, bake it in the oven for about five minutes at 325 until it's a little dark and smoky, and then grind it up, and then it adds a bit of a smoky flavor in addition to spicy. You can just use whatever chili flakes you have. Very nice. Now, as an option, you can add some finely chopped lemongrass into it. I'm gonna add some finely chopped, finely julienned kaffir lime leaves for some extra aroma. You don't have to; you can just keep it simple. But if you're gonna add lemongrass or lime leaves, adding it while it's still hot helps it infuse the flavor 
a little bit better. Okay, it has cooled down a little bit. Time to add our delicate herbs. And see my technique there? I add all the sturdy stuff and stir, stir, stir until it's cooled down so that it doesn't instantly like wilt my cilantro going in. And also, the most important herb in this dish is mint. Now, mint in North America are gigantic. Look at these leaves. Crazy, right? Mint never gets that size in Thailand. So you have to tear them up a little. The little leaves you can leave whole, but these ones are crazy. And of course, our toasted rice powder. And that powder is going to help sort of bind the sauce together as well. Mmm! And that is it! How easy is that? Look at that! Doesn't that look pretty? And you can change up the corn, you can add something else, but I like the corn because it adds a bit of a sweetness that really works well with the tofu. So now I'm gonna serve this with some fresh butter lettuce and then you can have it like a lettuce wrap type thing, but you don't have to. You can just have this with rice or sticky rice, which would be more traditional. Great thing about tofu lap is that the tofu absorbs all the dressing. So unlike meat lap where you see a lot of dressing just pooling at the bottom, this, it's all in the tofu. It's great. By the way, you can also add green onions. That's really typical, but I got lazy. I get lazy a lot these days with baby now. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm -mm. With a little pretty little mint on top and you are golden. Now, proof is in the taste and I'm just gonna taste it straight up. No lettuce wrap, no nothing. Mm. Mm. It has all the same flavors that you love in the classic lab. It's sour, it's spicy, it's fresh with all those herbs that we added and the toasted rice powder really makes this dish. But it's more tender, more gentle because the tofu and a little bit of sweetness from the corn, it is just amazing. Like I surprised myself how well this turned out because I was just like, ah, we'll just make a lap with this tofu and see what happens. And I was like, oh man, it is good. So I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. I know there's a lot of you out there that are vegetarian or vegans and you've been watching the show and making your own modifi modifications. So it's nice sometimes for me to just give you one that you can just use. And trust me, this will satisfy anybody vegan or not. So I hope you give this a try. The recipe, as always, will be on hubtaikitchen.com. And when you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do, or you will miss a great recipe like this. And click the bell icon as well. Otherwise, you will not get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.